Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, it's Brother Wisdom. Let's talk about <clears throat> we people of the celestial energy and trees. How do we relate? We melanin beings, we carbon based beings. How do we and the trees relate? Now you remember during the time of the so-called slavery, they said, come and meet your maker. <laughs> and then they would hang us on a tree. They knew the secret, but then they told us in this book called the Bible that, oh yeah, God created everything. You know, but they told you the truth from the beginning, come and meet your maker. Trees, full of very powerful minerals and uh, elements okay and I want to name off some information on trees okay all right trees basically um, come let me see the related 50% of the tree is carbon you got 42% of the tree is oxygen all right you got 6% of the tree, which is hydrogen. Okay, so 42 plus 6 is 8. All right. Then you have, is I'm sorry, 42 plus 6 is 48. Then you have 1% as nitrogen, which makes 49. But then you have a combined of other elements, which is 1%, which makes, which will cause uh, this to be 100% is uh, other other elements so 1% is calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. Okay. Now actually that's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. <laughs> Which actually give it another 7%. Well what they did was they combined all of these um, other trace elements that said this one percent which comes up to 100 percent now what I want to talk about is when I created those pyramids okay when I created those pyramids I used wood okay and pine wood is a popular wood which pine wood actually comes with those elements okay now what I'm focusing on is the trace elements which are the the silver elements elements of the of the silver color which is your calcium your potassium calcium is silver potassium is silver sodium is silver magnesium is silver iron is silver and manganese is silver silver carries a positive charge okay now, that carbon that's on the tree carries a negative charge. That carbon, which is also known as ether, carries a negative charge, all right? Which actually causes the tree to be um, um, an electromagnetic entity. Now we people of this carbon energy, okay, this right here, this this is gold and copper. This is gold and copper and other elements. This is but mostly gold and copper. Alright, and the gold and copper that's within our body cannot be found nowhere on the planet. Okay. And then uh, fifty percent of, of fifty that we have fifty different types of rare gold and 50 different types of rare copper okay and that's um but then the other 275 um metals are trace elements trace metals that are within this carbon that we carry this this uh metallic exoskeleton all right you see it shines in the light it's all metal all right, this is a this is a, a, what we have is a is a organic metal here that we call skin. 
Okay, now, this here is your negative charge. Okay, this is your negative charge. Your positive charge will be the iron that your bones are made of. Okay, because your bones are made of iron. Iron is one of the silver. Okay, this ether, which is called hair. All right, which has all your potassium, your sodium, your manganese, your um, your magnesium. All right, that's why it's important for us to eat of those uh, elements because they feed what's already inside of us. All right, um, I'm getting ready to go into a small, very short series talking about us and the trees, how we and trees relate. Okay. Now, out, these are antennas that connect to the cosmos. You see some of our brothers and sisters with afros, you know, and they froze, stand straight up in the air, just like the trees. Okay? And these are antennas that connect with the cosmos. All right? And when we walk barefooted on the ground, the energy that's within us become roots that root into the ground and therefore we become also one of the trees. We're just walking like trees. Now I remember um, I'm going to go to this little part of the Bible and it said that when this so-called guy named Jesus had healed this man and the man says he, say, he says uh, I see men walking as trees. All right. If anybody caught that, say, I see men walking as trees, which was um, that little short part and that was letting us know that we people of this carbon energy were created by trees. Not, And you got to see man, you got to remember man, not mankind. He didn't say, I see mankind walking as trees, so I see a man walking as trees. We are man, machines about to do the nature. All right, just like our one, our females, our women hold organic machines and out food in nature. Okay, so our bodies and the trees are closely related. Now, if you can remember um, the one video um, that I did about we are the Anunnaki, you guys, could, who, you guys who haven't picked it up, um, you can uh, go um, on the YouTube and pull up we are the Anunnaki. And um, let's go Remedy H. We are the Anunnaki, Anunnaki Remedy H. Um, we are the Anunnaki Remedy H. And basically in that video, it talked about how our blood, our carbon blood and chlorophyll were like 95% exact. Okay. Our, the molecular structure of our, of our blood and chlorophyll were 95% exact. Okay, I want to do another video of that. Okay, really am. Um, because what we have to understand is that we are the derivatives of the trees. We were born of the trees. We, the trees created us trillions of years ago. Those giant vaginal cavities that we walked out of. All right, we walked out of those trees. And therefore, when we walked out of those trees, we began to reproduce with each other. Okay. Um, during that time, there was no such thing as homosexuality. Men wanted to be men with men and men and women wanted to be with women. We didn't have that. That didn't happen until um, our people to our planet was so-called conquered. And these orc beings began to feed us against the diet of nature because nature itself all right, female must mate with male. Even you have bacteria, well, you have a feminine bacteria and a masculine bacteria that mates in order to create more bacteria. You have a even even the, the asexual bacteria, where the the inside of this bacteria has a feminine part and a masculine part that mix together inside the bacteria. So everything in nature that belongs to nature produces. So the trees being um, asexual gave birth to either man or woman okay 
and it was according to the molecular structure of the trees. Each one of us belongs to a certain tree. Some of us may belong to the redwood, some of us may belong to the sycamore tree, some of us may belong to the pine tree, some of us may belong to the oak tree. You know, each one of us beings of the celestial energy, all right, um, belong to a tree, all right? And there are thousands of trees on our planet. Thus forth, we've got thousands of different tribes of our people which we were born of the trees. That's why I said one time we were tree people. Okay? These orc beings know who we are. But from the trees, the trees would yield themselves over and we would create the towers. How we created towers? We created towers from wood and different metals. Alright? The tower, because the wood carries these um, silver metals. Alright? We would go and harvest the copper from the mountains and therefore the wood be inside the ground the copper will be connected to the wood and therefore you have the copper then we have to go get the zinc okay because copper and zinc together creates a powerful uh, um, force of energy and therefore you have the you have the wood which our towels were made of and the copper and the zinc okay and that's therefore you had the antimatter that was created between the two of them. Okay, you have wood in the ground, the copper in the ground, the zinc in the ground, and at the very top you had this energy, the kinetic energy that met up with the, the positive energy from the silver and the negative energy from the, uh, the, 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 the brown, which is your copper or your gold. All right, and that kinetic energy, boom, that burst of energy and light, all right, which caused our bodies to become more powerful because we use because this was made of the very um, uh, uh, entities that created us from the beginning. Okay, like I said, this is made of crystal metals and minerals, all right, but mostly metals. Silver, manganese, um, zinc, um, iron. Okay, they are made of all mostly silver. So this is why you have that energy coming straight down into you. Because you have the silver, this uh, uh, silver-like substance here, all right? Which when you look at it in the sun. You may see, um, you may see purple. You may see it, look, it looks black in the dark even without the sun. But when you look in the sun, it may look silver. It may look purple. It may look brown. It may look golden. You know, but it's made of different, um, different metals. All right, it helps us to connect directly to the cosmos and to the planet. So we are in direct relationship with the trees. We're not talking about Africa. We're not talking about Atlantis. We're not talking about uh, uh, Europe and all this other stuff. We're talking about the trees. All right. We come from nature. All right. I'll read this over to you guys one more time. Our body of the trees made of 50% carbon, 42% oxygen, 6% hydrogen, 1% nitrogen, and the other elements are calcium. Which are which are one percent are calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. Okay, so th this is like the, the molecular structure of our bodies in relation to the trees. All right, so just wanted to go through this real quick. You know, um, want to start a short session talking about our bodies, um, our hair, and the trees and nature herself you know how we were born of nature right um, this is important that we understand that we belong to nature and this is the only way we cannot eat animal and be powerful don't listen to these orcs and all these shows they want to take shows and tomorrow yeah you need to eat um, um, grain
grain fed or uh, animals that are that are in the wild and you need it. We didn't eat the animals. We had some animals that ate animals because they were put here on the planet to eat animals for balance. But those animals that ate animals respected us. They knew who we were. They didn't touch us. They didn't go nowhere near us. Believe me, they didn't. All right. We had some animals that ate animals. So we have to realize that we have come from nature and nature alone. Okay, my people. Uh, that's about all I got for you right now. Um, but we were born of nature. We were born of the, of, of the very elements. The trees. The trees. We people, this carbon energy. I don't need none of these organs coming in talking about, oh yeah, we are, no, because you, you were they were created from animals on a totally different planet. They don't even look like that. You know, they don't look like the planet. They don't look like us. They're against nature. That's why, you know, we're going to go through a really big purge very soon. They want us to feel sorry for them on the shows and all that. And we're doing this and we're doing this and we're doing this. No, 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 no. You're on our land. You're on our planet. I'm sorry. You know, but um, it's time that we begin to see ourselves not only as celestial energy beings or beings of supreme power, but we must see ourselves as also nature, the trees, the force, everything that's around you. Okay, that's about all I got right now. All right, I'm going to go give me some rest. All right, talk to you guys later. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.